Oh, they're going very nicely. Seven knots, just with the Yankee up. Pays to have a clean bottom. Very nice to be out and sailing again. And welcome to Al Chassis. We are sailing, or anchored anyway, but we've been sailing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the uh, season seems to have started, summer has arrived, so we've been out, we've been sailing, we've been exploring. We haven't quite finished the jobs, but... You yeah, never we... finish the jobs. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the film. Coming up, talking to the batteries, the last step of the power installation. Sailing downwind, seven knots in perfect conditions. And a street festival, dancing in the spring sunshine. The last episode might have been called Finishing the Winter Jobs. But shock horror, they're still not finished. Such is the way with boats. I'm still on the battery changeover to lithium and the race is on to get things done before Judy returns at the weekend. It was a race I was bound to lose, but at least the batteries are in their hole, not all over the saloon floor. Well, I've just had a, a text through from Judy to say that she's at the airport, so that's really good. So it's time to have a real clear up of the boat, which is nice because I've been living in a mess for the last week and it gets to you in the end. So it's nice to just sort of put everything away. I mean, I was hoping to get the lithium batteries in completely before she came back, but I've still got to get the, the lugs put on, the big cables are all measured out and cut to length. Uh, so I've got the cable, I've just got to get the ends crimped on um, and then change everything over. So these are my notes of sort of what's, go what's going to have to go where when that happens, because obviously I'm going to have to disconnect the existing battery when that happens. So the boat will have no power at all um, until I've rerouted everything and connected up the lithium. So uh, yeah, that'll happen, have to happen next week. but. Let's get on with the cleaning first and get this place looking ship shape. The song, I'm a Wonderful Thing Baby, was a top five hit in 1982. I'm a Wonderful Thing Baby. Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Correct, again, yes. In which year did these three songs all reach number one? Don't Turn Around by Aswad, First Time by Robin Beck, and Desire by U2. 1989. No, but 88. 1988. Oh, one year out. In the year 2000, Leanne Rhyme, reached number one. The theme song for the film Coyote Ugly. What God. is the song called? Oh, something about moonlight. Uh, can't Fight the Moonlight. That's the one. Can't Fight the Moonlight. Well done. Just having a break from the cleaning to, uh, to do breakfast. And I'm just going to show you because I have someone showed me a really good way of doing poached eggs. I really like poached eggs. Uh, the key is putting a little bit of vinegar in the water. So boil the water, a bit of vinegar, already done one. Um, and then let's give it a good stir around. And shove it in the middle and should get the perfect poached egg, which I'm gonna have on a bit of fried bread with some salmon on top. There we go, that's brunch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Blake. Yes, Ooh. I'm back. Well done. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Good. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, I haven't been here for a month. <laughs> Yeah, it looks really good. It's changed to a pop now when you watch us. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down and get your drink. Okay. It was late by the time Judy arrived. <laughs> unpacking could wait until the morning. Now Judy's been doing the unpacking. You bought me some bits. I did, your crimpers. <laughs> yes. I did see in the last video that you'd lost them. Yes, I still haven't found them. Got some new set here. I'll show you where I'll put them. Look, they go, they go in here. Some things 
you do sort of lose on a boat, but they'll never these because they always live in here. It go, they go in a sort of special cupboard with tools that I don't use very often. And there are other things like sunglasses and stuff that always goes missing. So I put some little things up here to keep those and we don't lose those anymore. We don't. But, well done. But crimpers went a lot. But crimpers right. went. But these are better. The dies just clip straight in and out. But they're not big enough for the big wires. Got to go across the road to the chandlers for them. Yeah, these are the ones I bought. They just look a bit short. But they've got some longer ones here. That's much better. And a set of crimpers. <laughs> well, he only had one of those, so I've uh, been to a shop down the road and bought some others. These ones are pure copper, but I'm sure with a bit of dielectric grease on, they'll be okay. I, mean, I think it's probably better off with plated ones if you can find them. But yeah, I like these ones because they're, they're longer. Those short ones just don't seem up to the job to me. Ideally, I would have liked a hydraulic hex press to do this, but needs must. It'll do for now. Yeah, it's quite a lot, doesn't it? Uh, the thing you want it, you just off the end of it. That's it. Okay, so I'm back in my hole. I had to cut a little bit off the uh, the lugs. They're really quite big on this. They're, they're in danger of touching on that. And for this one, they've got to go through the gland into the bib box. So I had to cut a bit off the side of that as well. But that should all do it. I'll definitely put uh, a load of Tef gel on this, dielectric grease, because. Uh, these copper ones will start to oxidise, but that should stop it and uh, and keep it good. Try and uh, try and get them all in. The other thing I've got to do, actually, in here while I'm in here, is um, is talk that talk up all the nuts on top of the uh, the battery here. They've got just all the the bars between them. Just all need uh, screwing down. It's supposed to be 20 newton meters, and uh, Judy was bringing me a, a torque wrench over, but. Stanshead, who are the worst airport in the world, they charge you seven pounds to uh, to just drop someone off there to go through and drop someone off. It's a complete rip off. And also, as you go through, they don't let you take three things through in uh, hand baggage. No one else seems to bother. But uh, I went through there once, and they took a, a polisher off me, uh, electric polisher. So they can't take electric stuff on there. I don't know what they thought I was going to do with it, polish someone to death. Um, but yeah, this was just a little short torque wrench because I've got a big one, but it won't really do the the small amounts to. 20 newton meters it starts at 20 newton meters so i got one that's that's just a small one to do this and yeah got it taken off us so who connected directly um to, to the, the monitoring kit on, on j2 it's low-tech jobs done but it gets a little more high-tech with lithium a video link up with super b was the last step in commissioning the batteries before connecting to the ship two computers on the go one controlled from holland he's controlling the the computer is in. This, this is Christian we're talking about, this by the way. This is Christian, <laughs> he's super B, yeah. He wanted it connected in a different way so he can control the batteries and he's just he's just doing it. So it's just freakishly I see. being controlled the other end. Um, we can't see anything and the batteries are talking to him. Yeah. Hello, batteries. I don't know exactly know what, what he's doing. I've already updated the firmware and stuff. I think he's just sort of checking through and making sure everything's okay. So the only yeah. thing that's different from your drawing is the the positive from that goes into that CAN bus, the little flying lead that goes to, to the other. A little other hiccup side. with getting power to the CAN yes, bus while there's no connection to the boat, but easy to sort out. Because there is no power for it there, it won't be powered from there because the relay's yeah, okay, off. Now you have powered it here. Exactly. So it's connected there. It's actually connected directly to the battery, but it is connected, so it's getting power. Let me double check if it is working. If I click on yep. off. Yeah, that clicked. Then, yeah, should be be turned off now and if we go to on then we should have a pre-charge phase now so the battery interface box the bib box the is working and able to isolate the batteries close. if needed now it's just on the final stages now changing over a couple of the big wires i've got to separate the uh, the wire that went to the alternator and the the starter motor because obviously the starter motor is being fed by the lead acid battery and uh, the alternators on a lithium profile now so I mean, quite often boats that you sort of link one to another the big cable goes through and then they link through so that's how it was on here but I've got to got to change that so I can have separate wires so all through this switching and stuff as well things need to change as soon as that's done I can uh, try them out actually switch it on to see if it works oh by the way using the uh, 
the Tef gel, best thing, the best brush. Make sure Judy can't hear me. Mascara, mascara brush, steal a mascara brush, work really well. Just been cooking some celebratory biscuits because I'm told <laughs> we have a <laughs> eureka moment is about to happen. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's go. I'm not, I'm not sure we should film this. <laughs> <laughs> well, in case it goes wrong. No, the, nothing could possibly go wrong. I've got to turn the bib box it's a bit dark, that's the only thing. And that should come on. And something should click. Okay. The bib box is flashing. Everything is flashing down there. What's supposed to happen, Steve? Should turn on. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, All right. Let's just um pause and have another go later. We're having another go. And ta da! <laughs> you want me to hit the button while you're recording, do you? Yeah. Well. Okay. Well, I think it just takes a bit of time. See, look, it does. Oh, look, it does. There we go. Set. We've got some flickering lights. Well, I don't know why, because it hasn't gone on. It doesn't just click straight away. Don't, no, That's good enough for me. We <laughs> have we have light. <laughs> yeah, it's still got a flashing. Yeah, look, I'll show you. There's a flashing light in here that, that shouldn't be there. The bib box is flashing at me. Um, you know what? For me, it's good enough. It's getting dark outside. <laughs> you can't see that, but trust me, it is. <laughs> yeah, look, it's there, it's 99%. There we go. Minus four amps. But the bit box isn't completely happy, there's something amiss. Flashing orange light. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to close for today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, come back tomorrow for another instalment. Yeah. And we hope it's going to be perfect by then. It will be. Last niggles with the can bus sorted. On to the next one, the freezer. Still me steam on. A faulty circuit board was quickly diagnosed, uh, but understanding so how to fix it was more difficult. That's dead. <laughs> so this is dead. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So can we get parts for, for oh, that? Hang on, you've got to do yeah, the yeah, Google Translate. It was a little too much for Google Translate. Time to call a bilingual friend. Var var, yedek kart var elimizde. Tamam mı? Ama o yedek de istiyor. Bir tane yedek istiyor. Can he find this today? Yeah, uh, okay, okay. Yes, he can. Okay. Just one more. Just one. Yes, just one. Yeah, yeah. Just to fix but this one. one. You buy your country. Yes. Okay. Yes. But will the freezer work with just one? Yeah, 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 only these one. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. working, working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Teshikurash. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Last job then before we can go. I've got the sail up because I've got my little Delrin balls, which have to go in here. Uh, once it's all loaded up and full, I can put it, take this bit of track off put this bit on and slide them on and without doing that they fall all over the floor so that's why I lost some so as soon as this, this is done you can go out and enjoy this lovely weather look at it fantastic a helping hand from the harbour team and we are off the sun is breaking through the cloud the breeze is perfect the castle looks magnificent who cares if there's a nip in the air? Quite chilly, isn't it? There's <laughs> <laughs> a nip in the wind, but it's sunny, it's lovely. We're we'll find some shelter and we'll have a good sail. We've got some good wind. We have. So we're we'll, we'll, we'll romp on down there. It's been great. Test is everything it, out. Is it even in the right direction? It's even in the right direction. Unbelievable. <laughs> no, I think we planned it. <laughs> and we can test our water maker. Yeah, test everything, test the batteries. I can shower in the purest water known to man, <laughs> or woman. <laughs> For the first time this season, Cheshme Town is humming. Crowds on the quayside filling the many restaurants. Happy days for everyone, and good news for us. I apologise for this because I'm going to be doing this all the time. I try not to show you every time because you'll get bored. Okay, looking at our energy. So we're at 97% and 
uh, we were I think about 90 just before we left so a bit of engine just brought it up to there got a bit of sun so we're still making six amps of everything on so yeah keep a check on it let's see how it goes I'm not bored you can show me anytime you like <laughs> 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 I think that bodes well, the wind with us on our first proper sail. That's good. Oh, you're making tea down there? I am. Make it, make it on the electric, got to use all this lovely power. Oh, the yes, inverters okay. on. Got to use I it will. somehow. <laughs> we'll test this system as much as we can. Almost there. Yeah, it's a little bit dead downwind, but we'll make the point just about. You're right, and we get some nice flat water, so that'd be good. Have a lunch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, we're going very nicely. Seven knots, just with the Yankee up. Pays to have a clean bottom. Very nice to be out and sailing again. And we're not the only ones. Alachati is famous for kite surfing, but we arrive in the middle of a windsurfing competition. Still going strong out the back here. What we're doing dinner. Judy's done her lovely vegetable curry. I have. Looks nice. And okay. I've got chicken that's just going to go in there with some onions because I'll have the meat bit in mine. And I've got loads of it because I can actually then freeze a bit because we've got a freezer now. Freezer and freezer bags. So yeah, <laughs> I think I might freeze some of my curry things. I always overdo it. Yeah, yeah. It the rest of the week. That's true. We do. End, we usually <laughs> end up eating things about three nights running. So we don't have to do that anymore. Perfect. And latest is sun's been sort of low for a while now. Ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent. And I'm using the induction hob. So and think how that would good. change if we cleaned the um. Yes, yes, tomorrow Oops. we'll clean the panels. Yeah, they're absolutely <laughs> filthy. <laughs> While we were sailing, I was going looking at the sail, I looked across, and yeah, they're completely filthy. So, I think I'll wash them. Well, it's a lovely sunny morning. Judy's outside, just climbing a few ropes. Is it, uh, is it warm? It is warm, and the wind has dropped, and it's beautiful. Summer is here, it's official. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Obviously, my main thing to do in the morning though is check the power. Uh, we went down to about 79% last night. Um, we were using the, the heating on board so it got a bit chilly so that uses a bit. We've got the inverter going. Uh, at the moment you can see we're getting about 18 or 19 amps from the solar and it says it's just an hour until it's fully charged and we're going to go out so uh, we might as well use some uh, some power run it down a little bit more before then so uh, i'm going to get the water maker going i've already opened the seacock which is in the uh, the engine room there so we just come through hit the start button i've got it uh, first bit's going to go in there so i'll check the salinity but if you can hear it's sort of fairly it's a bit more noisy when it first starts but you can you, know, you can barely hear it i mean if i go into here can't really hear it at all. Once it gets going, you certainly can't. So let's see what it's draw. What we've got now. Well, that's what we're saying. 12 amps, 8 amps. So yeah, it's doing as it says, taking about 10 amps. It just drops a little bit more then. So it, as it starts, it uses a little bit more, and then it settles down to to below 10 amps is what it's supposed to do. So I'll I'll keep an eye and see if it does that. And it seems to be. It's not that properly going yet, obviously, but yeah, about 9 amps. So we run that for a couple of hours and uh, fill our tanks up, use a bit of energy. We also charge the tender battery overnight, ready for its first outing. We are off to explore the town. 
Exactly. Got it. Long time since we've done this. Yeah. Got it? Yep. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> It's been so long, I just put it on and it's all powered up, so it's all fine, I haven't used it. And I thought, well, why is it crying? It's bleeping at me. And of course, we haven't got the... Oh. I haven't got the kill switch. Well, there we go, <laughs> at least it tells you. It does. Better go and get that then. Okay, yeah, I've got to do that and I've got to turn the water maker off because we don't need to wet. make okay. water all the whole time around. Okay. Finally, we are off, and we can't help noticing a wreck beached in the Al Chatti sand. Oh, it's still got the ropes on. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's been there long. It's got a little bit of rust on the top, but the rest of it intact. Atlas. Strange, because it's just on That's sand, true. you think they would have yeah. been able to drag it off. A lot of charter yachts over there, they're getting ready to go. Yeah, yeah, all well, the flags out, they must, uh, must have some people just come in, it's quite an early start to the season. Nice little marina. Yeah, it is, it is. Can we tie up here, do you think? I think we could tie up here. I was planning on going further down, just because it's, just because we can, basically. I mean, let's use as much power as possible, <laughs> we can charge it up so easily. You've got a bit of power. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think let's run now. this battery down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's nice to come in and have a little look there. They've got a nice little restaurant in there. They here. have, yeah. Yeah, it looks like further down, there's some sort of quiet posh houses looking at Google Earth. Yeah. With, with sort of their own berths and swimming pools in the back and that sort of stuff. But there's, it looks like there's a little beach type area at the end oh, okay. or something where we might be able to leave it and that's it's closer we can get on the little road to walk straight in. You're just so, being nosy really though aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so nice to be out. A lot of these are holiday homes slowly coming back to life. It's nice isn't it? I think this is a posh part of town. <laughs> I think most of our chatty is posh. <laughs> But yeah, it's a nice place. Boat at the end of your garden. Quite a big boat to have at the end of your garden yeah. as well. It must be deep. Yeah, it's serious. A lot of it looks quite new. And travelling down the canal reminds us both of a place we know quite well. Look this one. It's like being back in Venice. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> this feels like Venice. Amazing, isn't it? Just seeing all the... They are pretty gardens. Hardly anyone's home, though. Doesn't seem to be a lot of people, no. no. They're all in the all in the town, I, I suppose. If there's something oh, yeah, going on. Oh yeah, festival day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. One dinghy, one captain. Yeah, it works. It does. <laughs> and now we need to find our way to Al Chatti. It's there. I can see it. Oh yeah, I can't quite see with this camera. No. We'll be there soon enough. <laughs> well, about three quarters of an hour, I think. <laughs> okay. There's Alachati in the distance. And in the foreground, we've got flamingos. Didn't expect that. And a lot of new building. And then we arrive at the 11th annual Herb Festival in Alachati. Not just herbs, but all kinds of local produce. Plants, foods and herbal decorations. Turns out you can even wear them. Yes. Yeah, I can actually see out. Beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. This beautiful town of cobbled streets and arty shops is transformed this weekend. It's tradition bathed in sunshine and music.
I don't think I've seen that many people in one place for, well, a couple of years now. Yeah, it was, it was packed. <laughs> <laughs> and it changes the way you do things. I mean, that was street food all that way up the middle there was packed. Mm -hmm. We walked up the outside. But normally we would have bought all of that food, wouldn't we? And, yeah. and we just didn't because of COVID. It's strange. It's changed things. Yeah, I bought some herbs. So um, that is what I went for. Yeah, so yeah. that was good. But it is nice to see everyone out. Yeah, it is. And really, summer has arrived. People have just come out. The streets yeah. are full. The restaurants are full. It had a fantastic sail down. Um, re it was really nice. Nice to have the boat, you know, sort of ship shape. This, the work over the winters paid off massively. Uh, you know, we, we flew down here, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And having water and power mm. <laughs> sounds obvious, but, <laughs> but in fact, you know, we've lived with wondering whether to go in or when to go into a marina to fill up and yeah. whether or not our generator is going to pack up. And it just makes all the difference. I mean, everyone's just more relax now. Yeah, it's going to be a game changer for us. I mean, yeah. we've got big tanks and things, so we, we shouldn't complain. But, you know, now it is a game changer just having that. You can be much more self-sufficient and not worry about the stuff. Uh, and it's all just working really, mm. really well. Um, you haven't asked me. Power? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, Steve. And what's the power like today? Oh, <laughs> well, glad you asked. Uh, we're, yeah, for the first time, actually, for any prolonged period anyway, we've got it below 80%. You did well yeah. using your hairdryer today and cooking on the induction. Yeah, look, we've been doing, we've been living what I would call normal not panicked <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah I mean there's the, you can't really even put a dent in this power at the moment we're overcast today but still yeah. it's you know it's, it's climbing back up I'm sure we'd be up almost 100% by the end of the day so mm. it's great it really will change things and the water maker uh, yeah it just sits there and purrs away and, and does its stuff it's great yeah. So what are we going to do? We're going on a road trip, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Next yeah. week we're going to Cappadocia. Yeah. And we're going on a balloon ride, weather permitting. Yeah, while we were up here, we thought, well, you know, we want to do that before we head south. We will be heading south. But Cappadocia is supposed to be one of the wonders of the world. Everyone yeah. that's been has said it's absolutely go. superb. So we definitely want to do that. So we're, we're doing that and then we're heading south. And we've got another special thing, haven't yep. we? Yep, Steve's been invited by Kraken Yachts to go and test sail one of their... Well, we've been invited, yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go <laughs> and have, have a good look. Kraken Yachts, if you don't know, no, I think they're one of the best uh, boat manufacturers uh, in the world at the moment. They build what I would say is a, a proper blue water boat. Mm. Um, modern version of this, a bit more expensive. Yes, a modern, a modern version. We're not going to sell <laughs> Fair Isle, rest no, assured. Not. This is our boat. <laughs> but it is nice to look at new boats. It's going to be great. other people's boats. Yeah, and Dick Beaumont, Beaumont the CEO, who's a bit of a character, is uh, hopefully going to be there so we can have a good chat with him. So I think we'll, we'll put a good piece out on that. I think you'll enjoy that. So that'll be the next coming weeks and months. Well, that, that's beginning of May, this, their, yeah. their event. It's a new yard they're opening in Bodrum. They're in Istanbul at the moment, but they're, uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're having a, a new yard there and moving some boats down so we can see them so that's good so thank you very much for watching this episode thank you to our patrons and our subscribers and thank you and we'll see you next time thanks for watching